Like, hello, Dominions. Welcome into my channel. This is Sage Sunset. 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 And you are here for guided messages from the tarot cards to look into your love life. Gemini, welcome in. I'm going to put on a show for you today because it's a beautiful day. It's a time to give thanks. So let us dive into your love readings. Okay, we have the death card here. Now, Gemini, the death card can be death to a situation. It could be like something being over, a relationship, a job, perhaps. It or attitude, a way of living, um, lifestyle, certain anything that can come to an end, which is almost all things except all things. Okay, so. So the deck card also represents Gemini brand new beginnings out with the old and in with the new okay so don't be afraid when you see this death card here we have confusion here with the seven of cups too many choices in the matter what's going on mm -hmm. I feel like some of you may want to go with the easy choice, the one that t like either you're going to eat healthy or not. And there's a, you have the choice to choose between some cupcakes or some kale salad. And you definitely choose the cupcakes because <laughs> they look sweet. They look delicious. It's, it's appealing. I feel like you're going to what's most appealing visually. Mm -hmm. what stands out more so I see the page of cups that could be a message of love coming into you Gemini could be from someone from your past hair a young love springing back into being okay so maybe for some of you it's the end to being single it's the end to maybe a connection a marriage or an end to waiting to go into this person and offer your love to them this person could have options or it could be you that has options like getting a lot of offers offers coming in from water signs cancer pisces scorpio okay if that sounds familiar in your reading or maybe gemini you have a water sign in your birth chart okay so let's continue with the reading hmm Gemini, you feel suspicious at this time looking, looking over your shoulders. Maybe you are waiting for something to come into you, waiting for your business to take off, waiting for that brand new beginning, waiting to see something actually starting to prosper within your life. Maybe you're waiting for a love offer to come into you. Maybe you don't want to be alone anymore. You know, you know, you're just sitting there waiting like when it's when is it going to be my time to unite or to reunite? I feel like you're holding on to something from the past, Gemini. A past love attraction or an affection that you felt with someone. You're holding on to that. Mm. Someone that you find very, very attractive. Someone that you are very passionate about. Yes, yes. This could be an older person or a young person that is very wise, very intellectual, has their own business, possibly a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini. This person may be looking to come toward you or you're going toward this person. So we have water and fire in your, ch in your reading this far. Okay. I feel like you could be hold on a minute. Let me browse. <sighs> hmm. All right. So Gemini. Gemini, I feel like I feel like Gemini that some of you could be feeling uh, maybe uh, 
not so secure in yourself right now not trusting your intuition that's that's reflecting here as well not trusting um not feeling maybe being jealous in a relationship um this could be you make may, maybe micromanaging situations because you feel out of control uh all right let's continue okay i'm not doing reversals in this reading so we're taking all of these and reading them upright whilst really slightly vaguely contemplating the reversal meanings all right so you could be feeling not at your best right now so we have this strength card and so maybe you're feeling a bit jealous maybe envious just maybe suspicious over your person over a person and an offer coming into you maybe you you don't feel confident to go forward and make this move make this offer to this person we have the strength card here and um maybe it will oh, the, the situation for you could require strength to move forward the will power to take action in doing what it is that you need to do so if it is you that wants to make this move you have to develop that willpower in yourself so that you can move forward don't be weak so you could be feeling very weak or vulnerable in this situation not really trusting what the reaction might be okay but i'm saying let's see what what happens i don't want to let's see mm. okay then and maybe you're feeling financially a bit financially insecure that's why you're not making the move right now toward this person or maybe this is the, your person's energy this is also fire sign here with the strength card so you're, you're, maybe you're not seeing prosperity develop in your life at this time and so you don't feel confident i see that that's maybe what is affecting your confidence overall financial stability okay or this is, could be your person's energy just really bear that in mind hmm okay so maybe you are deciding to leave behind a life where you did feel insecure you felt maybe alone you wanting to move into a brand new life of love equal give and take gemini and so there's a new beginning here for you on the board of love i feel like you are in this stage working on your self-love working on your self-love developing yourself healing wounds that needs to be healed getting rid of old ideas old baggages old feelings of confusion lower vibrational energies of that relation not of not having a really grounded and stable and mature relationship wanting to move out of that sense and come into something that you can rely on maybe before you did felt you didn't feel safe and secure some of you are leaving that energy and moving forward into really being vulnerable trusting again being open working on your confidence working on your strength feeling like you really need to get your money together at this point to have that solid backing that you need that groundedness that helps to enforce your self-confidence <laughs> let's go amazing energy the ace of cups coming into you <laughs> so this this is the love that you're looking for huh yes fulfillment abundance joy prosperity uh, maybe meeting up with someone maybe while you're working maybe while you're out toiling you're meeting up with someone maybe when you decide to let your guard down and trust again and to really build your confidence gemini love will flow into your life this is what is coming into you this is amazing oh mm -hmm. amazing so if you're looking for love love is coming into you we're gonna see who is bringing that love through to you what will be the outcome of your situation 
Okay, we have I just want to see the Ace of Cups energy here. Mm -mm. So this is true love for me. This is innate love. I did say you're maybe going out Gemini and really learning how to love yourself again. Being vulnerable, trusting yourself and working on your confidence. So I feel like you're coming to a place where you can truly love yourself. This is the innate love. When I see the ace, yes, it's new beginnings, but it's also something that is innately inside of you, just coming out. So this is, if it is a person that's really coming into you at this point, this person is a reflection of a true divine soul love. This person will connect to you on an emotional level. That is beautiful. This is a very beautiful kind of love. True, like complete contentment, like your soul being nourished. You know some people feed you food these people this energy feeds your soul have you ever felt nourishment of your soul standing in the sunlight feeling the breeze the ocean it's like this person is are the situation that's coming in oh I love it it's going to really caress you caress your energy make you know what real and true love is you know not love that is toxic in vibration to some extent where there's lack of trust and stability but true divine connection here coming in for you i love it and it is coming in abundance some of you may want to have children some of you may be coming out of the stage where you were hardened maybe you're saying to yourself i don't want to have children anytime soon but there's a feeling coming into you maybe it's coming into you quickly too where you like a paternal or maternal feeling where you feel like I want to have I feel so fertile right now or for the men you feel very virile you feel like planting seeds so maybe for some of you like this is why you need to take this step forward plant some seeds have some youths watch them grow yes I love it mm -hmm, I do all right so let us continue Mm. okay so i feel like you're really focusing on leveling up financially starting your own business being wise financially independent financial stability so we have the ace of cups between two queens here and we have overall three queens on the board at this point three amazing queens so intuition groundedness boundary stability financial independence business minded so we could you could so you could be choosing between two people two gemini some of you in love you could be choosing between a fire sign and an earth sign or this could be an a, an earth sign offering their love to you remember up here we said someone is offering love look how we have three different reflections of love offering here we have the page of cups this is like a message coming in of love for you gemini the six of cups and this is all cups energy this is all love and emotion and joy here right and then we have the ace of cups which is abundance abundance so maybe if you're getting love and a love offer from an earth sign Ooh, it's coming in abundantly an earth sign or water sign i do see fire here as well someone likes you maybe you and i keep saying maybe you just don't trust this energy maybe you're really really just maybe someone wants to come in and and make you an offer a love offer i, I mean as in a proposal a wedding proposal saying will you marry me can you see that like this earth sign probably wants to get married to you. They're re-evaluating or this is your energy where you're sitting and wondering when is this person coming coming into you. Okay. Wow. Ooh, Gemini. So there's healing transformation going on in your situation. There's alignment, there's clarity, there's balance. You could be out in nature a lot, really connecting with water energy. A lot of water energy in your charts, in your reading here. 
nourishment complete like nor look, look at what is coming into you this is amazing like complete nourishment of one's soul one's purpose as if someone sees you how great and beautiful you are someone sees you looking attractive feel looking strong and as if they want to come in and really put an end to like or, or claim you make this new beginning in love with you start this new beginning in love with you Someone wanting to show you love, heal you. Or remember, Gemini, this could be you wanting to do this to another person here. Amazing. All right, let us continue. Oh, hmm. oh my. So you are afraid. You have been hurt before, maybe a lot, but this is the end. This is the 10 is the end and the beginning, similar to the dead card, the 10 of swords, where it all seems like it is ending. Yes, but the dawn is breaking transformation, a new day, a new, a new perspective on the situation. The veil is being lifted. You know, the day is breaking. A new realization of your strength up here is coming through to you. And maybe that's what's going to really connect this love situation. All right? You feel wounded. That's why you don't trust easily right now. Maybe even at all. Maybe you were involved with someone that easily found it easy to go off and be frivolous. And um, that was just, that was their nature. I feel like this person is your past energy though. You have blocked them. But you're also sitting in a position where you may be blocking true connections. But this is past. Let this go along with the person in your past. So that you can welcome in brand new. And this is where healing comes in for you here. Healing in your and You're being called to heal your environment. Maybe if you look around you. There are birds singing there's water there's music there's soothing things that are around you that are coming to really heal your emotions again here rejuvenate you so yes you may have lost something lost a love maybe you lost money who knows for some of you maybe lost some money and that's why you're not feeling financially stable okay but there's a brand new beginning coming in for you. Wow. Okay. This is the outcome of your reading. This is the wish fulfillment card. All your desires are coming through. You have a lot to be thankful for. And this is another water sign. This is another cup. A um, card of the cups. One, two, three, four, five. There's so this is a lot of love coming into you. New beginnings. Um, so I feel like just keep dreaming, keep wishing, um, keep on healing, releasing the things of the past. You know, heal them. Imagine you're, you're pouring water upon your wounds, healing them. That's a great way to heal yourself. And you're becoming full because even after the nine of cups, there's the ten of cups. The ten of cups energy is wish fulfillment, amazing blessings, family home land prosperity business all of that so after the nine is the ten so dream on wish on the nine is also manifestation the cycle has been completed and this is this is the the desired outcome or the manifested outcome the realized outcome for many of you gemini's okay we're going to leave it here. Okay, at the bottom we have the Magician card. Transmuting energy, healing. Um, realizing your power to, to transform something but to realizing the benefit in its situation. Powering up, leveling up, standing firm, realizing that you can be the victor of your story. That's why you have these swords energy here which is representing you. Being fully in your purpose and in your power here also. Being out, feeling free, expressing yourself to some degree. But um, as I said, holding on to some things of the past here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe your past person is looking at you. 
is looking looking maybe looking for a brand new beginning with you okay that's i'm going to end your reading here gemini thank you so much for being here this has been a very pleasant reading for the most part beautiful energy we have a lot of water energy cups energy here cancer pisces scorpio this could be a person that is coming into you offering you profound abundant amount of love and joy and just complete true divine love coming into you you may be blocking this love you may be suspicious of this offer but you're looking good and that's where you're getting offers the offer could also be coming in from an earth sign here or this could be financial stability coming in from for many of you your business being established it is off the ground running you're seeing the returns coming into you some of you could be thinking of a past love or a past person might want to come back into you and offer you love or this is a new person i feel for for, for plenty this is a new person coming back with an offering of love Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for listening and I hope that you find messages here that resonate with you and are able to help guide you along your journey. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future uploads and it's much appreciated. Gemini, remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything within this life because you are all, all is within you. Bye. Much love.